Hey everyone, I hope you are safe and doing good. So in the series of learning C++ programming language, we are discussing functions in C++. In previous video, we have seen how to pass arrays to a function. Right, now based on that, we will see two or three coding exercise in this video. Okay, if you got that, you can easily do these exercises. So first exercise is, you have to find out minimum and maximum element from an array. So I hope you know the logic, how to find out minimum and maximum element of an array. Right now, there is a twist. You have to use functions here. So define two functions, min element and max element, or any name you can take. Right while calling past that array, you take right, and uh, then you have to find out like define those functions to find out minimum and maximum element. Right, so using function, you have to do this thing. Right. So pause the video if you got my problem statement. Pause the video and try this out. So I hope you have done this now. We will define two functions, right? Suppose void one is min element. We will uh, first declare two functions, right? Min element and there we should tell the compiler that this function is going to accept array as an argument. So this one is for array and second is for size as well in pass, suppose, right? So intent. If you want to take name of these elements also uh, i mean this is also fine you can take but i pre prefer this syntax i'm comfortable with this thing so next is max element same prototype would be there for this also right and in main let's take now first an array okay sorry Let's take five elements we have in this array, right? And we are calling this min element function and we are passing ARR, right? And obviously the size as well. So you know the formula to calculate size, size of this complete array divided by size of one element or one element is to of type int. So size of int we can also write. And here we are passing size as well, right? So let's define now this function. Here you need to take name, this is compulsory, the variable name, the parameter name, A and size we are taking, right? Because this is function definition. So I hope now you know the logic, minimum element and maximum element. So let's take, let's take the first element is a smallest one in the array. Let's assume, right? So we'll take, suppose uh, a variable uh, smallest, in smallest equal to a of 0. Let's take, let's assume first element is the smallest one and then we compare the first element with all the elements. And if you find any smaller element than the first one, then just replace that or something like this, right? Okay. Now, for loop, we are going to compare because the smallest element with all the elements, right? So, for loop from 0 to i less than whatever the size of the array, size and I plus plus. So we'll take if if a of i, whatever the element a of i, less than the smallest element, then the smallest element would be modified. Now the a of i element would become the smallest element. That's it. Right. And after that just print that element or if you want that this function should return that element so we should change i mean we have to change the prototype so the return type of the function int and here also let's take int and after finding this it will return whatever the smallest element got it now if it is returning something so obviously you have to hold that element in a variable name of a variable of type int right so let's let's take here one more element int int smallest element and whatever it will return we will store that in that element in this variable smallest element and simply we print that smallest element that's it okay let's run this and see it's working or not smallest element is Okay, smallest element is obviously 
see here you have to call now that function so the function is min element you are not calling that function so that is why it is giving you whatever the size is right here you if you know the concept of this comma uh, operator then you will get this thing why you are getting 5 right now min element and okay now we are calling this let's run this and see minus 78 yeah that's correct minimum element is this so now it's your assignment now pause the video and try that maximum element how to find out right same we consider the first element as maximum element from this array and then we compare this with every element right less than size and i plus plus and if uh, that those that a of i is greater than now greater than the maximum element if any a of i i mean the element is maximum the uh, sorry greater than the, those maximum element then we replace that so now maximum element will become is equal is equal to whatever that ai element right and at last we simply return so let's change this prototype this return type to int and here we'll call this this so we simply direct in c out we can call uh, whatever the function name x ele element and pass arr and the size let's run this and see what output we are getting minimum element is minus 78 maximum in is 56 so yeah that's correct right so here we are passing in array in a function and we are you know performing some operations right okay these two i hope you are done with these two one more uh, exercise is suppose uh, you are hosting an event in your school or in your college and you uh, want to invite some guest speakers right so for that you will make that list right and you will print that list and after that after hosting that suppose after hosting that or after that event you just clear that list so print the list and clear list two function you need to define okay so suppose we have string an array i mean array of string type and there we have three names maybe like jenny and rahul and pradeep or any other name right so first print that list define a function print list right and then clear that list after clearing again print that list i hope you got my point so pause the video and try this out let's declare a function print list and here we will take an array of type string as well as size so that would be an int another one is clear that list i mean clear list and same will pass string and array and second size of oh. What data type you need to give? No need to give here variable name because it, it is function declaration. Now, in main function, let's take string and like speaker speakers list is equal to Jenny. It's Shahrukh Khan, not the other one. And suppose Modi. You can make your own list. If you don't like these three person, you can just change the name, right? So this is my list. Fine. Now, okay, this is an array, obviously, so you should declare it something like this, right? Now we are calling that print list, and here I'm just passing speaker list and uh, size. So let's take let's take here one more variable like int. speaker list size is 3 right and here I'm just passing speaker list size right so now let's let's define this print list so here we have string and let's take name here same name you can take speaker list or s list I'm taking here and then I'm taking simple name int size right okay now the for loop 
I should be less than whatever the size is and I plus plus. So we will simply print now because this function is not returning anything. We just want to print C out and the list. So S list and I with some space, right? Let's write down here a new line just to format it a little bit ENDL, right? Now this is what print list. So let me run this and show you the output you will get. Okay, let's run this here. Don't. So this is the list, Jenny SRK Modi. We are just printing the list. And you also want uh, to uh, restrict anyone from this function, print list to modify the list. So what you will do, just write down here, const. Just make this constant so that and no one can modify it right so if you want to here modify so suppose if you want to modify like if you don't like modi and you want to replace this with rahul so let's do this but now we have done this constant parameter here so it will give error now if you want to clear the list then let's define this the same function so here let's obviously you have to take the name i'm taking s list and here size so same for loop and here rather than c out because you want to clear everything out so s underscore list and whatever the element there just a space or nothing sorry that's it after clearing the list, let's call this function clear list here. And after clearing, again print. Right, and let's uh, in this function, let's print after clearing, let's print. List cleared. Right. So this is the program now. Let's run this and see. First the list, then list cleared and nothing will be printed now after that. Right? So because list is cleared now. You got it? So like rather than int array, we can pass string array also. So this is that example. I hope you got this, how to pass arrays to a function. Now try out different, different exercises and examples on this thing on this topic don't leave this like yeah you got you you got those three exercises and that's it no just try out at least five or ten exercises of different different type right like how to pass arrays to a function so now that's it for this video now i'll see you in the next video till then bye bye take care